back to another video on the channel. In this video, we're at the Sunday flea market to see if we can find items to flip them for a profit on eBay. So let's go ahead to see if we can find anything. Cool collection, my man. What are we doing them for? Uh, the DVDs. Dollar each? Dollar each. Um, box sets of five. Yeah. But I'll do you, like, if you get the whole series of a show, like, I'll do you a deal. All right. Like I'll, I'll do 20 for everything of Waking the Dead. Yeah. Uh, this flower's in the attic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much on that one? Five, yeah. Five on that. How, what seasons of Futurama do you have there? Uh, five, six, two. Pretty well, all of them. Eight. Six. I'll grab the Futuramas. Mm. Um, I'll do 50 on that. I'll take I'll take 50 for that and the flowers in the attic. I might do flowers in the attic, man. Yeah, I might leave I might leave those and take. All right. What about, what about the? Do the cameras work? The cameras work. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, camera, two lenses, charger, and battery. Uh, 320 all up. 320 all up. Won't go any other than that. And then Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Ultra Moon Fan Edition. So. 150 we're asking for that, but I can do you 100. Would you go 80? 95, lowest. Nothing more. 90. Uh, we got 100 with flowers in the attic. Yeah, 100 with flowers in the attic. Deal. There you go, mate. Cheers. Appreciate Thank it. Thanks, buddy. You too. All right. So we have Pokemon Ultra Moon in box. Fan edition. It's the fan edition. Um, so it's got a steel case inside. We need to hold that. We also got flowers in the attic. This pricing was a little skewed. I just want to check the contents, which I should have done before I bought it. But here it is here. Hold that. So that's the steel case with nothing in it, but this is the moment of truth. Do we actually have a game in here? Ultra Moon. And it's an Australian version with the steel case, fan edition. So that'll be very interesting. I don't know what it's worth. It'll be very interesting to comp it up. And then he's got this, the anthology of flowers in the attic. Not sure what that's worth either. But he was doing Futurama for $50. Do you know if this one works? Um, no. That one I'm not sure. Not sure? No. How much are you selling it for? Ten. Ten. I will give it a go. I could try and get it to work. I'll play around with it. How much are those ones? Ten, would you do five? Come on, nah. I wouldn't be able to go to ten. I'll do your eight. What else can we bundle in? Um, what are we going to do on those ones? All that Rex, ten. Ten each? All right, let's do... The size are they? 32. 30, 32. 30, that's a 30 waist, hey? Um, Apart from new. New, new. New news. Yes. All right, I'll give you 20. Good. Amazing. Thank, you, Thank darling. you very much. Appreciate it as always. We'll see you soon. All right. We've got a pair of brand new, new jeans. And we've got some shorts. And I've got a camera that is not working. I don't think it's working anyway. Um, but we only paid 10 for it. We'll break it down later. Clearance. Wow, hey, yeah, that's... 35 cents each. Friends. Just a DVD. That one's brand new sealed. That only came out on Friday. It's a new release. Did it? Yeah, nice. 
So their TV series, they're two bucks each, but I'll do it for you, I'll do buy one, get one free as well. Buy one free, easy, mate. I appreciate that. Um, how's it all been going? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah? Scary this morning, started to rain. I heard. Time, so. I heard about the rain. Yeah, fingers crossed that's the last of it. It's supposed to start at 10 o'clock when the market's finished. Finish so. up. Yeah, okay. I'll have a think about the Sonic game, mate. No problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't think there'll be enough in that. But it's brand new and sealed. Which is quite good. We've got Revenge of the Nerds on DVD has just come through and they want $30 and we're listing it for $50. Offer them $40? $45, I like your work, hey. Put the money in your pocket, she says. <laughs> All right, 45 bucks, send an offer. You're always gonna be on top of that, guys. I think that's one thing that I uh, don't talk about enough is best offers. Because a lot of our sales come from the best offer feature and I'm always checking it. I'm always trying to catch them while they're hot. So at all times, have your eBay app on you and keep looking at it. How much are we doing on these books, my friend? Are they? <laughs> you know what they're worth? Well, they're worth a lot more than that, so that's a good deal. I was just hoping for a complete set, but I think I'm missing a few. Yeah, it might be missing a few. Yeah. I have sold some other ones at other markets. Oh, okay. No worries. No, I might leave them, but someone will grab them. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good maths, my man. Yeah, brand new. Brand new? Yeah. How much are you going to sell them then? Uh, oh, good books. I have got Jane Trilogy. How much is it? Uh, five bucks for the three. Five for the three? I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that one there? Three. Ten on that, ten and five, fifteen. Yeah. All right. Second edition. We've got back there. Just some movies back there, I think. Yeah, Gladiator. What's this book? Welding. The Sandwich Thief, Evil Woman. We are worth 15, I think. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Actually, there's one more book set for five. Those good night books. Ah, uh, the two good. Thank you very much. A late grab. Just as, just as we were leaving. They are good books. So we've got Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, number one and number two. One and two. We've, we've also got, hey, this is your find. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be much though, but. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We've got the Harry Potter film collection there on DVD. And then we've also got, which can do amazingly well, depending on what you find. Um, we've got Lord of the Rings, one, two, and three. In good condition too. In good condition. Unreal. What have you found? Um, some model kits. Model I, kits? I bought a um, PlayStation 3 and then sold it straight away. Yep. I made some quick money because I don't want to... You don't want to deal with it. That's fair. Um, nice. Yeah. But, yeah oh, what, what about that Spawn character over there? Humphrey B. Bear. Yeah. I think you've sold it before. Yeah. That's a great grab. And then we got Donkey Kong for six. He's a bit torn though. Should we take him? I think we... 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. alright. What's that like? 30. Have a look at that. Mandarin Spawn. It's a designer edition from McFarlane. Could be good. How you doing, mate? Yeah. Would you do five on him if he's a bit torn? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'll go 10 on that. Yeah. 10 and 5, 15. That rain's coming, hey? Two thousand and three Lord of the Rings. Any more wrestling figures? Yeah. You do? No, no, sorry, no. No, that's it. Just Jericho and um, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, that one there too. No, Easy. All right, mate, I'll do 15 on those. Fabsy. Fabsy catch. Um, you yeah, got some, have, have you got some um, Pokemon cards? Uh, oh, I need those, and I've got a few. It's nice. Have you got a few more at home as well? Yeah, I do, yeah. Are you selling those? Yeah, um, I, just, I travel through once, twice a year, so... Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're, you're from elsewhere? I'm from Grafton. Grafton, yeah, yeah okay. All right, nice. Well, appreciate your hookup on the, on yeah. the plush. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you, man. We just had a look at some comps then and it was 125, 150, and he, he had, had 175. Girls, one to four. How much on the recorder? Three bucks. Three bucks. All right. Play that for you later. Right. And then, what about that um, DVD set here? This one. Would you go five on the both? Yeah. Let's do it. You'd be surprised, Kat. You'd be surprised. At least I hope you will, because I have no idea. Every now and again, I like to do that. The um, reason why I bought this, guys, is because we have an actual code on the packaging. So it's not just some random recorder. We've actually got a specific one. So for $3, kids go to school. They need to learn the recorder. Someone might need a recorder. War of the Worlds. Oh, good morning. How are you going? That's good. I was looking at this. They're all five each. Five each. Okay. Uh, Surely. This goes, these go all right sometimes. In ten dogs? Yeah, maybe you can pair them up. Call that a joint. Uh, two dollars each on the car. Yeah. They're all four bucks each, man. Four each. No worries. Nintendo Switch McDonald's. Four bucks each. I don't think there's any in there. Yeah, I can do a little bit of the old Yeah, I don't I don't think there's too many. How about these two? Who runs this show? Um five dollars Matt. Thank you very much. There you go. Appreciate it. Buying stuff, I have no clue of what's what. 
but we have some Nintendo Switch, Mario, Nintendo Switch, McDonald's Happy Meal toys in their box. No idea. You do, but they are still collector's item and when they don't go up for sale, oh, when they don't get accessible at Macca's, people want them. Coins do well. They're all there, love. All the, all the, um, That's complete? Yeah, it's all complete, love. Okay. 20 on it. Australian Olympic gold medalist collection, Daily Telegraph. All right. No worries. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Brecky? Yeah, where's Jamie? Don't know, I haven't seen the man. He said he was going to come. Yeah, I haven't seen him. He, uh, he normally bumps into me by now. Well, I think we're done, I think we're going to get a feed. It'll be interesting to see what that's worth. We are back. Maybe this could be the, uh, the tune of the garage. Every morning you have to ritually play it. No. Okay, <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, I can tell you right now that this Yamaha recorder is worth nothing. <laughs> I did some comps. I bought it, like I said, because of that little code there, the YRS-24B, um, but unfortunately it sells for about $10, including postage. <laughs> so I think it's worth $1.50. Um, so I am just not going to list that. And I think that's a little mini lesson in there for you guys. Just because you bought it, just because you thought there might have been some value in it, doesn't mean you actually have to go through the process to list it up. Um, bad buy. We paid $3 for it. We'll just take it as a loss. We won't list it. We'll probably just get rid of it. Um, Kate, throw the camera over all this stuff that we bought today because I was pretty happy with the way things worked out today. There were a total of 14 items that we ended up buying. It was pretty much just the recorder uh, that wasn't of any worth. If we run through some of these items to give you an update on price, this one here, this Humphrey B. Bear, it's the Southern TV Corp 1965 tag. Um, and they're actually both identical Humphreys. I bought these at a garage sale about a week ago. Uh, and it's sold instantly within an hour or two for $50. So I'm thinking this one's going to be worth $50. And this one with the uh, tear in his leg um, is going to be about $30. There's a little tear there as well, actually, Kate. I don't know mm. if you can see that too in the hip. So $30 on a, on a stitch-up job and $50 there. $80 and we paid $15. Um, now, this camera, unfortunately, has a, has a burr or a burn, I guess you could call, uh, call it there. You can see it just up the top here running down there. So this is a Fuji film. The number on it, if you're looking for model numbers, it's generally on the bottom. You've got the S2980. Um, for parts, that's going to be worth about $30 to $40. I'm actually thinking based on the fact that that doesn't really work. This Low Pro bag. The Low Pro is a great brand. Perry. Come on. Sit. Perry. Sit. We can't have you crying on camera. Sit. Sit, Perry, sit. Next one up, we have Harry Potter, the eight film collection. This one sells for about $35 to $40. That one was picked up for $10. Um, we've got Girls, this was season one to four. It's only a part season set. We'll get about $25 for that. Flowers in the Attic, we should get about $25 for that. That was bought, however, with what was the best buy of the day, which was Pokemon Ultra Moon. Um, because it's the fan edition, we should be able to get $150. Uh, for that one there. It does have the steel case, it does have the original case, uh, and the game is in there in great condition. So if it wasn't a fan edition, it would only be worth 100 and we wouldn't be able to profit on it. But these are the sorts of items I'm happy to pay up for because the sell-through rate is really, really strong for Pokemon. So that was a great find. Uh, this Mario Kart booklet, it's a bit like the recorder. It's only worth about $18. It's not worth a lot of money. I'm not going to sell it individually. Um, but I probably will put it with a Mario Kart game. We've actually over here on the Nintendo Wii, um, we have a Mario Kart game that we're trying to sell. So I'm actually going to amend the listing and I'm going to accompany this booklet for the game. And I think we might be able to get the sale. We might be able to add $15 to the listing because we've got this book. So. Um, that's another way that you can sort of maximise your returns without having to lose too much money on two different postage costs. Now, I'll let you guys do your own research based on this information, but Lord of the Rings here, books number one to three, if you look at the different variations of Lord of the Ring books out there, some of them can sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and we've actually sold a few before in the $80 to $100 price range. 
This set of one to three, we had a look, it's gonna go for about 40. Um, so it's not quite as good, but we only paid $5 for it. And these book series, Lord of the Rings, always sell quick. Love the fact that it is such a clean book series set too. So that should help the resale value of that one. Um, I did spy this really late in that Lord of the Rings purchase. We've got Good Night, uh, what is it? Good Night Stories, Rebel Girls 1 and Rebel Girls 2. You can actually get about $30 to $35 for this book series. Um, so I have sold it a number of times before. There's a boys variant as well. Um, that does do pretty well too. Uh, we are doing a little bit of clothing. These new jeans, I bought them because they were brand new with their tags. It's got a $220 uh, retail price there on those. Um, so the size being a 30 waist, 32 length, I thought I'd just go ahead and do it. They are the Lou Slims, and I think I'm gonna be able to list these, and being brand new, sell them for about $70 to $80. So with a $220 retail price tag on them, I think that should make them sell pretty fast. Um, this was an interesting one that I also grabbed for a couple of dollars. These are the McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Um, now we've got Yoshi, and we've also got a gold Mario Kart. Now, the collector allocation of these, if you had about eight or 10 of them, they go for about 70 or 80 odd dollars. I think even a set of five sold for about 30 to $40. So I'm thinking a set of two, we might be able to stretch ourselves to about $25 worth of value. We'll have to wait and see. Perry, we're recording. Can I have that? Can I have that? I'll give that to you later. If you're not crying, you're chewing. chewing. Uh, so that is everything. I don't know if I spoke about these. These are a bread and butter pair of St. George Illawarra rugby shorts. Um, so they go for about $25. I've sold them a number of different times as well. So all up, everything there, there's gonna be a few hundred dollars worth of value. I'm not 100% sure on what we paid for it. I'm gonna put that into a little text screen so you guys know. Um, but yeah, I thought awesome. I thought awesome in the fact that this is $150. So arguably our money back on what we bought today, just in this listing. And then from there, all of this is gonna be profit. Uh, now, a couple of other things. Sunday morning, we've got a total of 10 sales orders to take you guys through that we're gonna be putting into the mailbag. Hopefully, being a Sunday, it means that a few more sales will come in for the Monday post. But right now, we've got 10, but I'm actually really stoked with the 10 that we've got. Already some great sales that are coming through. Um, before we do that, I wanna show you this. Okay, if you want to zoom in on this, our PO box. We now have a PO box for the first time in four years. There are the details. You can take a little screenshot of that. Um, if you need to get in touch with us, send us anything, whatever the case may be, that is our PO box, that is our mailing address. I've never publicized a mailing address, but from now on, we do have one that we can give out. We just don't wanna give out a residential address on camera. So that's cool. I think I paid about 60 or $70 a year to get that PO box, um, but that's gonna be nice now to be able to advertise that on the channel. Perry's killing us today. He never normally does. I think because we've got the washing machine on and we normally have the door open so he can see us. Can I pause the washing machine? Yeah. Better. If the door's open, he's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, the numbers. Let's have a look at the numbers. The update on the whiteboard, we are averaging $400 every single day. Um, we did $392 yesterday. That's probably the last update that we've got since we last did a video on this channel. So we're doing 400, we've ticked over the $10,000 goal for the month and we've still got four or five days, basically five days left um, to try and you know, move as well past the 10,000 as we possibly can. So it's been a really, really good month. My foot is on the pedal. We're going as hard as we possibly can for the next eight to 10 weeks uh, to round out the year. So um, we're gonna kick it off with uh, 10 sales. The, these four are actually coming in. I've got six really good ones, but these four aren't great. Um, these are all our minimum starting point. They've all gone listed up for 20 bucks and they've all sold for about 19 to $20. So we've got Aladdin on the Sega Mega Drive right there. Uh, we've got plane, uh, Planes on the Wii U. We've got Fallout New Vegas on the Xbox 360. And then we've got a, an absolute classic Ratchet and Clank number three up your arsenal on the PlayStation 2. So as you can see there, a bunch of different makes, Xbox, PlayStation, Sega Mega Drive, some vintage stuff, and a Nintendo Wii U. Um, so all the different consoles do sell in the video games. Um, but yeah, we, we always start out at that minimum 20 bucks. So that's what we've got for today. Uh, but like I said, the next six are very, very good. Carl Malone. You know what his nickname was? Loney, it's a fair, fair, fair guess. Uh, the mailman, 
Don't know why. I'm pretty sure it was the mailman. Anyway, this one, a really good story actually behind this. This is my personal Utah Jazz jersey that I'm, uh, I'm now selling. Story behind this, this is actually pretty crazy. I'm going to link the video in the description below so you can go and check it out for proof. Um, but I was in a place called the Netherlands in the, uh, in what country is it? No, Netherlands is the country. Uh, a town called Landgraf in the Netherlands. It was a music festival called Pink Pop. And the Killers were there, and the Killers are from Utah, or they're from Vegas, which is the closest basketball team is the Utah Jazz. I was wearing this jersey at that Killers concert in the middle of nowhere in Europe, and I was standing front row because I'm a huge Killers fan. And long story short, Ronnie Venucci, the drummer, threw out a drumstick, and I caught it. And I actually caught a Ronnie, Ronnie Venucci stick, and I've still got it. It's framed. Uh, it's an incredible um, story. But I also got a shout-out from Brandon Flowers, and I'm in a stadium full of 50,000 people, and he's seen the Utah Jazz jersey in the front row, and he called out the last song of the night when you were young to the kid in the front row with the Utah Jazz jersey. That video is linked in the description below for proof uh, to show that I'm not, not lying about any of it. Um, yeah, so that was in this jersey. So there is some real sentimental value for me and this jersey, so to see it go is a little bit sad. Um, I told Kate about it, and Kate obviously knows of that story, so she was pretty shocked to see um, that I'd gone on to sell it, but I'm never going to wear it again. I got $35 for it, pays for the 14 beers that I had that night. Robin Williams, rest in peace. Okay. Yeah, what a legend Robin Williams was. Um, Mork and Mindy, never watched the show. I think Robin Williams was an alien in this show, Mork and Mindy. You, ne you, you never saw it? I never saw it either, but I think that's who he is. He's like a Martian or something. Um, this is the complete series set of Mork and Mindy. Um, we bought this off David, off his DVD wall. Um, big collection of DVDs. We've put them into the last two videos on the channel, so you can go and see a bunch of awesome DVDs that he has in his collection. Um, not sure exactly what the breakdown of this is on a purchase price, but I've spent seven dollars $800 uh, with David on those two private picks. Um, this one's come through for $59.95, and we've sold it in the space of a week. Um, so a really good turnaround, and the fact that there's only a few different DVDs in there, we can put that into a small satchel. Um, so a fantastic turnaround for time and also a sale price of $60. So if you find Mork and Mindy out there in the thrift, make sure you buy it. Here's another one that I haven't watched. We've got Hawaii Five-0. Um, this is the more modern version. There is an old 1970s, 1980s version, but this is the modern one. Um, we've got every single episode here. Again, we bought this one off David out of that big private pick. Um, 10 seasons of this show, we got a $79.95 sale price. 80 bucks. I think in the past, this one's been able to go up, upwards of $100 complete. Um, so I think the, the, the market for this TV show has gone down a little bit. Um, we only got the 80. So, you know, being 10 different seasons, we're probably going to put that into a box. I don't think we'll go large satchel. I think we sort of go up to eight seasons into a medium satchel, but then after that, like this, we put it into a box um, just because it does get quite big and heavy. So a bit of bubble wrap for protection into a box that's usually pretty safe. But for $80, it's, it's worth doing it because you're still going to profit quite a bit. I'm doing some cleaning as well. Kate and I yesterday. We actually did what we said we were going to do in past videos and we pulled everything off the carpet here um, apart from this pressure cleaner that I'm probably going to put on Facebook Marketplace. Picked it up in a thrift store for $18. I think we can sell it for about $80 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, but all of the stuff in these tubs down here, it's a bit unorganized, but this entire rack is now unlisted stock. So we know that anything from basically here down in the room, all of that is listed ready for sale and then we kind of come in from, I think it's really well laid out because we kind of come in from a, a thrift store or a, or a flea market like today and all of that stuff that we showed you guys on the table, we're just going to whack into there. And then we know at any point in time if we need to list something up, let's have a look at this shelf and see what's empty. Now my way of doing things has always been no death pile. I like to buy my stuff, I like to list it straight away and then I move on to my next pick. But as you can see, I have got more in my death pile than ever before because we've just been doing so much sourcing lately. Um, so I'm gonna to have to get a wriggle on and list up as much of this as I possibly can to get me to that point where I don't like to have stuff in my death pile. I encourage you guys, if you're first starting out on eBay, to not build up too much of a death pile. Just get in the habit of consistent listings and you'll start to see those sales come through. 
Um, we've got this one here. That, now, these three, these were girls of the Playboy Mansion there. These next three sales are all over $100. This one here, season one to six of Girls of the Playboy Mansion came in for $100, $99.95. Unfortunately, it is six seasons, so that will go into a medium satchel. We might pay $12 to $14 with our Australia Post Band 5 discount. Um, so that's fine because it was a private pick. Again, another great sale in the DVD category coming off David. So it's good to see all of this return coming through really quickly, only buying it a week ago. But um, yeah, big one out there. I think it's a rare one considering it sold for 100. Cool to see. Our second best sale from the weekend is a little PlayStation 2 bundle that we've got here. Now this is the um, SCPH 50002. I'll show you guys that model number just there. There it is there. That is a very useful piece of information when you're listing up your consoles. I would highly recommend that you title your PlayStation 2 console with that code. Um, you'll find a lot of the consoles have different codes and it's good to put them in there. Um, no cables with this one. We've just got a controller. We've just got the cons uh, console and we have an eight megabyte memory card there as well. So I listed it up as it is. I explained that this is literally all I have to sell but we were still able to go on to sell it for $120. So I thought that was a great return. We're gonna put it into a box with a bunch of bubble wrap. We'll pay probably 15 odd dollars um, to have it sent off. We do have a lot of other consoles. We just didn't have enough cables um, to make this one truly complete, but the cables are pretty easy to source. Um, so with a couple of games that you might've bundled into this, you could often get 150 to $200 if it was complete with a bunch of games. Um, but considering we were missing a few different bits and pieces, we went 120 and we got the full asking price. So uh, it took about four to six weeks, about that sort of a length of time to sell, um, which is sort of top end of how quickly we like to turn things over. Ideally, you wanna be selling things within maybe, maybe two to three months. Um, so that wasn't too bad. It came through in a pretty good space of time. I'm actually starting to realize that this entire what sold has basically been more or less everything we've bought off David <laughs> in our recent private picks. If you haven't seen those two videos, there's a lot of content there for you guys to go and check out. You'll see it's all selling here. Um, this is another one that we bought off David a week ago. We have 46 out of 62 Goosebump books. Now this is the original series of the Goosebump books. There's no modified, updated, modern versions. This is the real deal original. Now we are 16, 16 books short of being a complete set of 62. Now, if you had a full set of 62, this sells for $500 to $600. So I knew that we had a real hot winner here with 46 books. Question was, what do we price it up for being incomplete? 16 books shy. You can buy the individual books for $10. So that's 160 bucks on top of this purchase price to complete it. Um, if you were to run around eBay and find all the individual ones you needed. So I listed this up for 200 and we got the full asking price of $200. So you could technically, with this purchase off me, buy all the rest for $160, pay $360, and have a complete set. You could even then go and resell it at a $360 purchase price and profit on it. I was almost tempted to go and buy the originals myself and then try and list it up for $600. But I'm all about fast, quick sales. $200, bought off David in a week. Goosebumps, the vintage book series. That is a big, big sale. Now guys, I've just jumped out into the car real quick. I, I looked on Facebook Marketplace for that same book series, Goosebumps, and I've actually found a full series set, all 62 books, going on Facebook Marketplace for $200 just around the corner. I'm about to go and pick it up, and Halloween is just three days away, so this is a really timely purchase. I think it's the reason why that first set of Goosebump books sold, and it just got me interested. It got me thinking, is there any more Goosebump book series sets out there at the moment? And it just so happens that this uh, one on Facebook Marketplace is. 200 bucks, we should be able to sell this for 600. This could be a really, really good flip and it could sell pretty quick too. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. That's amazing. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. All the best. So there it is. It appears as though all of these are first editions, which is great. I um, haven't counted them up just yet, but these don't appear to be first editions, but we can market it as a very, very good set of first edition Goosebump books here. Um, we are missing one, and that is book number 60. Book number 60, actually, yeah. Book 60. Um, so if you have that out there, 
I would definitely be interested in uh, completing this set. Um, I think a few people will have it as a spare. So yeah, reach out on Instagram. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are in great condition as well. I always check the, the paper and the paper, I mean, yes, it's old. It's a good 20 or 25 year old book series this. Uh, potentially actually even 30 years old, this book series. Um, so I'm gonna list this up for about $580. Not bad off a $200 purchase. Fresh set. There were so many people who didn't like the checkered band, so I bought a different pair. I bought the same pair. 